this is your sign to just do it. This is the fit. I'm wearing this hat. Black top from Sears Yoga. Blue lemon shorts. Shoes are the, the... I don't even remember what the name is. But it's gonna be hot today, so... We... Good morning! That's how I literally start every vlog. Sorry guys. It's 8.52 Tuesday, September 5th. I have class. Oh my gosh, everyone's walking and I'm filming and this is kind of embarrassing. I have class at 9 o'clock and then I don't have class until 7, so. I just stare at people back when I stare. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside. I just finished up with class and now I stopped at this reservation that's on the way home and I'm gonna go on a little walk. I don't, I don't think it's much of a hike. I have my fanny pack with me. The elevation said it was like 18, I think, so. I am 100% in my hiking girl, hot walk girl, whatever you wanna say, era. And I'm probably not gonna take you guys along with me because I don't have anywhere to put my camera. And it's kinda heavy. So I'll just film some montage on my phone. But I'm listening to Sadie Robertson Huff podcast right now. I started on the way here. So I'm just gonna finish that. I think the walk is like 3.3 miles. And then I got my very dirty hokas that I need to clean. I've already drank two of these water bottles, so I'm praying I do not have to pee. Hi guys. Oh God, it's hot. I need this air blasting, please. 4.3 mile walk slash jog complete. I'm ready to talk now. I just finished the new trail by my school. It initially said 3.3 miles, but I will say I was in the middle of it and I just got this urge to run, which is not a common urge, by the way. I started doing a nice little jog, got my zone two heart rate up, and then once it kind of reached the threshold of zone three, I walked. So I did a nice little tempo walk jog for the remainder of the walk. I think it ended up being like 4.3. So that is my workout for today. I'm a little bit sore just from changing the phases. I talked about this on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go do that. It's Lizzie with two E's dot fit. But I'm going into phase two of my 12 week program. And this phase is increasing the volume number of reps by like two to four, anywhere from two to four over the next four weeks. So I am slightly sore from that. If I were to look back at my old splits or just how I would work out and be like, oh yeah, like let's just start running because I want to, that would just never happen. It would be a run because I already planned it out or I would be running in a lot of pain and just not giving myself proper recovery. This is crazy to say. I thought that it was kind of harder to walk than it was to run. That's kind of why I started to run also because it was just easier for me. I don't have class until seven o'clock tonight, which stinks, but it also gives me plenty of time throughout the day to do what I need to do and get ahead on some schoolwork so that when the weekends come around, I can like edit my video and just relax. But I'm gonna head home now. It's about a 20 minute drive. I'm gonna make myself some, some fruit and yogurt probably. It was funny cause I was trying to figure out like what I wanted to film for this week's video. And I was like, I could film when I eat, but I eat the same thing every day. Like I was just listening to Mel Robbins podcast and I think that's why I want to talk about this right now because her podcast that just came out yesterday it was if you only listen to one podcast make it today and it was basically her saying that your life is like a melting ice cube and the excuses you have are timeless but the time that you have in life isn't it was just her saying like if you've always wanted to do something then do it and for me I've always wanted to have a YouTube channel and I started to do that when I got injured and I'm so glad that I did it but then I did keep up with it just because life got crazy and I found so many excuses now that I'm starting up again I just really want to be consistent and document it because I genuinely love YouTube which I love filming just to document my life and look back on how much things have changed and same thing with my Instagram I'm pretty shy in person but overall I would say that I don't really care what people think and I will do it and maybe it will help somebody someday or maybe they can feel like a connection to me I don't know whatever the situation may be that's why I do it you are waiting on doing something or not making a decision based out of fear, this is your sign. That's my little pep talk for this Tuesday. It's 90. Let me actually see what the degrees is. 
My watch should have it. It is 88 degrees outside. I'm trying to do notes right now. This is my setup. And then I just have my computer right here. These are all the slides and then she's just going through reading them and I'm making notes. This is where it'd be really nice to have an iPad and do this, but it's okay. I have six of these videos for this week's chapter. I wanted to film what I do for my creamy. Really hot water. Leave it in here for like five minutes and wait for it to defrost. I did my creamy a little bit differently than I normally do. My regular fair life protein shake some Oreo flavored, but I kind of wanted like an Oreo hot fudge. Then what I'm gonna do, dark golden chocolate from Costco. So I'm gonna take three pieces and then I'm gonna break them up and melt them and use that as like hot fudge. And this is 30 grams of protein, so it helps to hit my protein goals for the day. It's like 260 calories, cause I add sprinkles to it. It looks like this. Make a little hole. A little swig that we have left of our milk. And put it in. This happening, I'm gonna take the dark chocolate and heat it up in the microwave. Moment of truth. Oh my. Today has been such a productive day. I just went through the slides, made some notes. We have a study guide for every single chapter. So I really need to be more efficient. I wrote down all of the answers through, highlighted the summary. I have a little over an hour before I'm gonna leave, so I'll probably stop just so I can give myself some downtime. I'm watching Only Merge in the Building right now. Pretty good. That's pretty much the update. I've just been chilling here, doing work. show you guys my fit for today. I'm wearing the Lululemon shorts that I got in the last video. Just this white top from Target and then shoes. I'm wearing these pink Air Max shoes. Another day, another fit check. I'm obsessed with these jeans from Abercrombie. Top is from Zara. Shoes are, they look black, but they're actually navy blue. So we have class at nine. Interesting. I'm going to go to Plato's closet and see if any of the clothes that I'm getting rid of, they're gonna take. I'll show you guys, I have a whole bin back here. They open at 10. Let's see how far away it is. Guess how much they offer me. I say like 30. So I went in and asked her if they were taking clothes just to make sure. And then as soon as I went back out, someone else came in with three bins. Overheard her say that there was six people lined up at the door when it opened at 10. So I had like seven people in front of me with a bunch of clothes. And they said it would be around two, two and a half hours. All right, Loki felt like it was a sign to go to the mall. Came to the mall and it's not open until 11. I'm just gonna chill in my car and do some homework. I feel like I have stuff to do. I've been really on top of getting my work done. I also need to edit my YouTube video. And then I think my workout today is a walk of some type. I'll probably go to the trails later and do a walk. It would have been smart to bring my stuff and just walk at the trails by my school, but I really wasn't thinking that it would even take this long. I thought it'd be like a five minute process. Update on my coffee drinking. There is literally, I think I pour like this much coffee in just because I want some caffeine, but I really don't want to drink a lot of it. And I had a pretty big breakfast this morning. I'm not like super hungry and I'm already really full. I mean, I am drinking coffee just a little bit. Let's edit my YouTube video so I can get that done with. We'll do that right now. I definitely could be aesthetic and go to Starbucks or I could just be normal and wait in the parking lot till the mall opens and do my homework here. I went to Zara and I almost got something, but I did not want to wait in the line. I left. It was like this top, but in like a mauve color. I got the text message from Play-Doh's that my clothes are ready. It's 11.05, so that only took like an hour. It wasn't that bad. 
That's what's left. They took 17 items for $52. I'm glad at least those things are gone and now we're gonna go home. Just got out of lab, finished early, so now I'm gonna go home, finish editing my YouTube video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.